go, guys. We're returning to Metal Gear. All right, the horsey is alive and well. As I said before, we've already seen this little bit. Oh, great. Just when we thought we got away. Should have stuck around in the water. You can't attack us in the water. The name's Ocelot. Big boss. You know who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do, too, actually. First was to get you out of that hospital. The second was to rescue the man himself. You remember? Your partner nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. I think that's what transpired in Ground Zeroes, I believe. With like a helicopter crash or something like that. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan? <laughs> what, you can't keep up with world affairs in a coma? Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. Red's 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. Whoa. Squad That's a uh, pretty sizable border army. Now in three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. How are we holding on to the horse? I give him two weeks. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Well, there's our ride. Which one? Ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now it's seven days to Port Kasim, another three overland. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Oh, yeah. The music's already got me pumping up. Let's do this. Oh, man. I'm excited. The music always in Metal Gear is one of the best, honestly, in my opinion. One of the best um, audio design or engineering, whatever you want to call it, for any video game. It's just so good. The score is always really, really, really awesome. So, with that in mind, I guess uh, we have gotten the um, fundamental tutorial kind of side of things done with now. So, I'm assuming now we're actually going to be taking on Mission 1. There it is. Chapter 1. Revenge. Sounds pretty intriguing. So, let's get rock and rolling. Went through the Swaz Canal. I 
think this is where we're gonna get that cool like robotic arm right There it is. Oh yeah, and of course I got an Apple Watch. I'm joking, it's not an Apple Watch. Would have been funny if it was one though. There we go. And rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo. So, there we go. All right, so we got an Ocelot's Briefing 1, I guess, of those. The Man on Fire 1 tape, and then the Mixtape number 2. Okay. So those are the cassette tapes that we have... Uh, Unlocked so far, which is pretty cool. Uh, switching the camera position, sure, sounds pretty good. Change pages. Uh, if you sustain a serious injury, you'll be unable to perform certain actions, such as climbing over obstacles and getting onto your horse. That's pretty good and accurate. If you sustain an injury to your torso, you will not be able to recover fully without first aid. If you sustain a serious injury to your arm, you will not be able. To, sorry, you will not be able to ready a weapon. And in the case of your leg, you will not be able to sprint. In these instances, quickly get behind cover and press the action button, which is triangle, to perform first aid, which we of course learned last time. Here we go, episode one, Phantom Limbs. So there are chapters and then there are also episodes, I guess within those chapters. March 21st, 1984. 2.06 p.m. in northern Kabul in Afghanistan. There's some very thick sandstorms coming through. Hopefully we can have like a vacuum cleaner. Under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. Weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. All right. Sounds good. We have like one of the most advanced phones ever, but we're still on horseback. Gotta love it. Starring Punished Venom Snake. Okay. Benedict Kazuhira Miller. Or maybe it's Kazuhira. Revolver Shala Shaska Ocelot. Enemy combatants, the Soviet yeah, Guard, Airborne Regiment. The Skull's Parasite Unit. I like it's interesting. I guess it, like every episode is gonna have like uh, its own cast to announce. That's kind of interesting. Wow. What a beautiful sight. It's just nature. After nine years, Very little uh, humanity. Kind of interesting. Solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces. Should be the perfect warm up. Okay. Here we go. Let's get into the missions. Looks like we got a nice little device to... Kazuhira uh, Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your iDroid. Okay. There's the iDroid. See Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Okay. Finding it is your first priority. Well, I, I think it's probably a pretty good idea to just head over there, right? Got your binoculars? Or should I say your int scope? See the village? Straight ahead. Um, yep, I got it, I think. There was something glistening. All right, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That right there looks kind that's of interesting. That's village. The Vialo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. 
A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. Okay, but what is that reflective light? So you don't lose track of where it is. I hope that's not a sniper scope. Uh, place to remove a marker. Okay, well, I'd like to place a marker on that thing, whatever that is. Good. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. All right. Have much left in him. I give him three days. Well, let's ride. If we fail. He dies. We That's not an option. Revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets okay. have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it. Well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. All right. Fair enough. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. All Not right. one of Miller's bodyguards survive. And they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and these. Time to go into them. boss mode. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Time to bring the legend back, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So I think we're just going to ride down, speed up the horse, okay. Can we gallop? Whoa, that's kind of cool. Change the position from riding to left to right, okay. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Can we use the binoculars as we ride? So I am a little bit confused. Olin, there's a Soviet guard post. There are bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. All right, I think I got him. Hmm. That's marking. Focus on the thread and it'll be marked automatically. You can mark enemies and vehicles by zooming in with your binoculars or camera. Once they're marked, you'll also see their positions on the map. Security at that guard post is relatively light. Looks like the perfect place for a warm-up. Try to remember the ways you used to deal with enemies. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. Alright, sounds fair enough. So let's get in close. I do need to scout ahead, though. Make sure that that's not the only guy there. Okay, let me just look around real quick. I just saw movement. Okay, that's probably just the trees. That's fair. Here we go, nice and quiet. Coming into position, guys. Here we go. Sight, sound. Keep all your enemy senses in mind. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. <laughs> all right. Let me take a look. There's nobody in the guard or in the watchtower. I don't see anybody in general. You have arrived at your destination. How do I take you out silently? Whoa! That's not quiet. The only body 
cruisers out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. Okay. That's crazy. I, I I thought that there was like a takedown, some sort of a silent take. I mean, I'm sure there is. I just need to learn it. All right, we need to make sure that he does not get found, at least while we're around. So this seems like a pretty good spot. There we go. All right, let's go back up top. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Okay. Ooh, what is that? There are some rough diamonds. Rough diamond. Good find. It'll fetch a high price. Whoops. All right, tagged him. There's got to be another guy. There's no way that there's just these two. What does that say? Primary weapon. Okay. Whoa. Okay, don't turn around. I, there's got to be some other move that you can do. Oh, no. Guard post captured. Okay. We barely did it, but we did do it. Alright, let's get him out of position. And... I think this is a pretty good spot right here. There we go. Alright. So we took care of all that. And the stealth gameplay begins. I love it. This is really fun so far. Definitely plays very, very smoothly. And quite well. Can I go in there? No. Okay. Alright. Let's have a quick look around. Check if there's any other trouble. I do want to check what's over there. Wait, while holding the right stick. Extraction arrived at mother base. Wait, what? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to click it in? Oh, there we go. Wait. How do I whistle? I want to whistle. Oh, there we go. It's a right stick. I messed up. Come here, buddy. Get over here. Thank you. That's awesome. All right. That's really, really great because that allows us to move around a lot quicker. So I could either go to the right or explore this base a little bit You're further. At the enemy outpost, Vialo Village. The village is crawling with enemy soldiers. Don't just go waltzing in. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? All right, I've gained a couple of targets. Something else was spotted. Is that another target? What is that? I think that might be our marker right there. I'm not sure, but that might have been the marker that we left. All right, so we got to get something that overlooks the village. A parabolic antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Okay. What does that mean? Intel radio. A parabolic antenna. The Soviets must have added that themselves. Meaning there's communications equipment inside. Alright, he asked me to look... Yeah. ...for something that would be overlooking the village. I mean, to what extent does that refer? Because, like, obviously there's stuff that's overlooking the village, like, right up here. Right? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Can you see the village from there? Use the binoculars to reek on the place. Okay, I think this is a pretty good spot right here. Look at where the enemies are stationed. Look at their gear. Take it all in. There should be a command post somewhere. See any buildings with tighter security? If there are clues to Miller's whereabouts, I'll bet you can find them in there. I'm looking. Trying to spot something that looks like it has tighter security than the others. 
There's really not all that many of them, to be quite honest. There's four guards for this entire village. Unless if there's something else that I'm missing. Uh, I am not seeing any additional security, so to speak. Except for those guys out there. That's about all. Oh, there's a guard. Got another one. That might be it right there. I'm trying to look for more. There's one guy right there. Not seeing anything else. Mortar shells travel in a curved trajectory, meaning they hit from up above you. Okay. Meaning I have to be very careful about them. What is that? A dumpster. Looks big enough to hide somebody. Mm. You could stash a downed enemy in there or hide in it yourself. Just don't stand too close to me afterward. 